So hello and welcome. We're going to do this very quick exercise on naming the alkynes. And the exercise says give the IUPAC name for each of the following organic compounds. Um, and let's start by this very first one over here. I want you to look very carefully. Remember, whenever you see something that looks like this and it says CH3, that's one carbon bonded to three hydrogens. And here's where you find a combination between a structural and a part of it is represented by what we would call a condensed structural formula. If I look at this very carefully, I can see there's one carbon, two carbon, three carbon, four carbons. That could be the main chain. Or I could say one carbon, two carbon, three carbon, four carbons. Or that could be the main chain. Um, in either case, they tend, in this particular example, to be the same molecule. Um, so we'll go with the straight one and look at that as our easiest. Remember, you need to number closest to the functional group. So I want you to look very, very carefully. Um, and, and remember, this is an exercise, so if you are comfortable with the work already, I suggest you press pause, try all three questions, and then come back to my solution. So pause now. Did you pause? No, 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 don't lie. Okay, good, pause and work it out. Okay, great. So let's see if you got the same or similar solutions. Right, so I'm going to start numbering from this one, two, three, four, because I think we've clearly identified that we have a triple bond over there. Let me just look carefully. Mm. Yeah, that, 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 that looks like a triple bond. So that's definitely a triple bond. And also because I have three over here and one over there gives me four, three over here and one over there gives me four. So it has to be a triple bond. Um, and with that, I'm now going to say that I've got four carbons and four carbons in the main chain is going to be the following. It's but, I've got at least one triple bond between carbon atoms, so that's going to be but ein. And the triple bond occurs on the first carbon, so I say but dash one ein because the numbers indicate where this triple bond lies. And I've now taken care of all of these. We know it's a hydrocarbon, so it's going to have ein. We know it's going to be four carbons, and we know that the triple bond is on the first carbon but I haven't particularly addressed this thing over here. Now, when I have what we call a side chain or a branch, right, that is a branch, and that branch contains one carbon with three hydrogens, we said that that is a methyl branch, right? And so we're going to add that to the name here in front, methyl. Methyl but one i we now also need to indicate on which carbon the methyl part lies, and that's going to be 3 dash methyl but 1 i. Okay, dash 1 dash i. And there we have it. There's the name, the IUPAC International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, for the first example. Okay, so I hope you've tried the second example. You try it, try it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's see if, if we have C2H2. Let's see if we have a similar solution to that one. Okay, so C2H2. How many carbons does this have? It's only got two carbons, so it's very, very simple. You know that that formula there corresponds to 2 times 2 is 4, 4 minus 2 gives me 2. So this thing here, the hydrogens related to the carbons, is actually double the amount of carbons minus 2 of them. And that's going to give me 2. And so you know that this year corresponds to the formula for the hydrocarbons, uh, specifically the alkynes. Okay. And if I only have two carbons and I need to have at least one triple bond, it's very, very straightforward that, that triple bond has to be, to be between them. Um, so that's going to be a hydrogen over there. And that's going to be a hydrogen over there. And I can then confirm that I have four bonds around each carbon, four covalent bonds around each carbon atom on this side, 3 there plus 1, 3 here plus 1 gives me 4 for that one. So let's name this meth eth, right? Two carbons, eth. Now there's no other possibility. Whenever you have two carbons, the only possible solution is to have both carbons, um, is the, the only possible solution is to have the triple bond between the two carbons that you have. And so that's going to be ethine. And I don't need to say eth one ion because it will always be on the first carbon in either of the examples, right? There's no other possibility, so I just say ethine. 
Okay, are we, are we ready to look at the third question? So I'm going to write this one as CH3, CH2, CCH. CH3, uh, CH3, CH2, CCH. CH3, CH2, CCH. Let's, let's go for that one. Um, let's just get a white screen up there. CH3, CH2, CCH. Now, if you look at this formula, we need to look at what exactly does this formula tell us? Well, by now you know that this here represents what we call the condensed structural formula. Condensed structural, right? And just for practice, I want you to do this with me. We can name this very, very easily. One, two, three, four. Four carbons. We already know it's going to be some variation of butyne or butyne itself. Um, with the triple bond going to be on the first carbon there because I can see that there's nothing else around it. Um, so it's but one ion. However, I'm going to do both the condensed structural formula, I'm also going to do a structural formula, and I also want to do the molecular formula. So that's my condensed structural formula that you see over there. Let's look at the molecular formula. How many carbons do I have over here? One, two, three, four. So four carbons. Now let's count the hydrogens. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Now what is double four? Very good. It's eight. And eight minus two gives me six. Very good. So the relationship between the hydrogens and the carbons over here is that the, the hydrogens are double the amount of carbons minus two. Double four is eight. Minus two gives me six. And because of that, this general formula, that's a specific molecular formula. It is the formula that holds. It is the formula that holds true for the um, uh, for the alkynes, right? And so let's draw it out now. Okay. So I need four. I'm going to draw it according to the condensed structural formula. I need four carbons. One, two, three, four. And I look at this thing and I say, oh, around the first carbon, I need three hydrogens. I put that bond in, and I've got one, two, three. I've got my three hydrogens over there. Around the second carbon, I only have two hydrogens, right? So there's my bond that bonds the carbons, and I've got one, two. I've got one hydrogen there, and one hydrogen. Oh my god, I don't know what I just did. Um, okay, let's just erase that and try and fix that over there. One hydrogen atom over there, one hydrogen atom over there, and that gives me the CH2. Uh, I'm sorry, my, my hand is going on some buttons here. Okay. So CH3, CH2, CCH, right? Structural, molecular, and now I'm busy with the... Sorry, this wasn't structural. The, the other word went missing. So let's just put it in there again. That was the condensed structural. Right. Condensed structural, molecular, and uh, over here we're going to have the structural formula. So I've got CH3, three carbons, I mean one carbon, three hydrogens, one carbon with two hydrogens, one carbon with no hydrogens. So that's going to be that one over there, bonded to another carbon with only one hydrogen. Right. Let's just get a blue marker bonded to a carbon with only one hydrogen. And that leaves us with a triple bond over here. So as I said earlier, it's, it's very easy to see it from the condensed structural formula. And this thing over here is what we will call the structural formula. Right. Now, we haven't particularly answered the question, and maybe you have done so already. We specifically want to answer the question about what is the name of this molecule. And so remember, when you name a molecule, you need to find the longest chain, you need to check if there are any branches, and you need to number closest to the functional group. The functional group over here is the triple bond, and the homologous series to which this molecule belongs to is the alkynes. And I'm going to number closest to that triple bond. So one, two, three, and four. And then I'm going to say four carbons in the main chain is butte. 
there's at least one triple bond, so I need to put I. And I know that the triple bond is on the first carbon, so it's but one I. And so there we have it, a quick exercise on the alkynes. Good luck. We'll chat to you with the next functional group.